Hello everybody, Mr. Easy Study here. Today we are going to be focusing on the one and only. Wait a second. Who's that in this picture here? I'll give you three seconds. Three, two, one. If you guess correctly, this is the only and number one wolf tone. Well done to those who got that in three seconds. I personally could have not, but anyway, well done. So we're going to be first talking about Theobald Wolf Tone's early life. So in Theobald Wolf Tone's early life, he was born in 1763 in an Anglican family. If we can remember clearly from my last video, we were talking that the Protestant ascendancy, the land-owning minority, were also known as Anglicans. So, if you were asked the question, what type of family was Wolftown from? You can either say from the Protestant ascendancy or an Anglican family. Okay, back to Wolftown anyway. He later in his life studied law in Trinity College and became a barrister, which is, we kind of say lawyer now, so yeah. And he was particularly interested in the Enlightenment, which we'll later talk about in another video called the American Revolution. He later went to Paris in 1789 and experienced the French Revolution, which greatly changed his life. He was inspired by the French views of equality, liberty and fraternity. Now, let's move on to later in his life, when he returns to Ireland. So, in 1791, I need to write this down, because this is a key thing. You shall all remember this, once you're studying this. In 1791, Wolf Tone wrote a pamphlet, which is like a leaflet, on an argument on behalf of the Catholics of Ireland. This pamphlet or leaflet, you could say, stated why Catholics should have the same right as Protestants. Later, after he wrote this pamphlet, he was invited by Presbyterians in Belfast to have a meeting with them. There, he founded what was called as the United Irishmen. So, I'm going to write this as the UI. So, here I'm going to write all the key facts. So, you. I, United Irishman. I'm going to write P for pamphlet. So remember this. And so he founded the United Irishman and then he suddenly, with the United Irishman, made a newspaper called the Northern Star. So from this, I'm going to write NS for Northern Star. If you want to remember better, you can just draw a star and like it facing north. Or you can remember as the North Star. Easy way to remember things. So the goal of the United Irishmen was to um, have religious equality, removal of British influences. I'm just going to write that as RB of meaning. Removal of British, because, yep. And finally, that all men should vote and sit in Parliament, should have the right. So I'm just going to write V and S, meaning vote and sit in Parliament. Okay. So just remember all this. So these are their, this is all their goals. So that was Wolf Tone in this, like, thing. In this, uh, this is just a, a skim over what he did. So... Not just what they defined the United Irishman, he also was secretary of the Catholic Committee. This was a group formed by wealthy Catholics who wanted more reforms. Later on, Britain declared war on France, and yeah, they just did, and fearing for Catholic resentment, they abolished most of the um, most of the horrible penal laws, but and they allowed Catholics the right to vote, which was good, but not to sit in Parliament, mind you. 
Now, the British government then kept a close eye on all the Irish people there, all the Catholics, the Protestant ascendancy, Presbyterians, yeah, all those things, all those people. And soon, the United Irishmen was soon a banned society, as the government were just banning them because they didn't trust the United Irishmen. And people started to get arrested. One example would be William Jackson, who was arrested. During this time, Tone went back to France and he asked the French for help in this war. And the French sent some ships to Bantry Bay, but not most of the ships went there because of terrible weather. And when they arrived there, there were not much ships, so Tone was very disappointed. Okay, so this is Wolf Tone Part 1. I'll be putting Part 2 up later. So please like and subscribe and please enjoy this video. Adios.